If you're an Apple user, this is a video you can't afford to miss in 2025. Last June, Apple announced a partnership with ChatGPT, and together they're completely redefining the way we use AI. It's only been six months, but they've already released some amazing new features, and today I'm going to show you how to use each and every one of them in your workflow. So hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Well, firstly, Siri just got a serious upgrade. You can now replace standard Apple intelligence with ChatGPT for complex questions. Siri will listen to your voice, figure out automatically if the question needs advanced help, and pull up an answer directly from ChatGPT. And this is not all it can do, because Siri can now also share your screen with ChatGPT to help you give context, get suggestions, and even to troubleshoot. And if that's not enough, this extension can now also use ChatGPT's intelligence to analyze large documents. This is perfect for things like asking specific questions or getting summaries. This extension works across all Apple devices, but in today's demo, I'll be using my Mac to show you how it works. So the first thing you're gonna do is click on the Apple icon at the top of your screen and go to About This Mac. You need to be at least on macOS Sonoma to be able to use this feature, so make sure to upgrade. Next, you're gonna download the latest ChatGPT app or upgrade the one you already have. And lastly, make sure you're on a paid subscription for ChatGPT. This works across all plans except the free one. Once your app is installed, go to Settings, Apple Intelligence and Siri, and scroll down to find the ChatGPT extension. You'll need to click Setup next to Use ChatGPT, enable it, and now all that's left for us to do is to sign in. Now that we signed in, let's test it out together. So for simple questions, Siri will use the standard Apple intelligence. Hey Siri, how much is 25 times nine? And as you can see for simple question, it uses Siri intelligence. Now let's ask it something more difficult. Hey Siri, what's the best way to invest $10,000 right now? And as you can see, it asks us whether we'd like to work with ChatGPT, and of course we're going to say yes. And it starts working directly with it. And now we have our answer. We can click this ChatGPT link below to continue this conversation. Now, if you want to skip this confirmation step, just go back to the settings where we were before and disable this confirm request switch. And now it will send complex questions to ChatGPT automatically. Hey Siri. If I invest $600 into S&P 500 every month, what will happen in 20 years? And it starts working with ChatGPT automatically here. And just like that, we have a detailed answer. Now, sometimes Siri struggles to identify complex questions and gives us an error instead. I don't know why it does that. I think it's with shorter questions, but in this case, you can kind of specify your questions a little bit more, or you can ask it to invoke ChatGPT directly. Hey Siri, who's the richest man in the world? And as you can see, it gives us an error. Hey Siri, can you ask ChatGPT who the richest man in the world is? And as you can see, it does the job and gives us an answer. Now, if you're having any trouble setting it up, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'll make sure to help you out. And let's get on with the next feature. This extension also allows us to share a screen with ChatGPT. The way this works is by taking the screenshot of what you see and sending it directly to ChatGPT with your question. To invoke this feature, you need to be very clear what you're referring to, like edit this text, improve this thumbnail, so Siri knows exactly what you're referring to. Let's say I'm in Calendly and I can't find my API settings, so I'm just gonna ask Siri. By the way, you don't always have to ask it, you can also type in your question by double tapping the command key, which is what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna type in, where can I find API settings on this website? So it knows what I'm referring to. And as you can see, we get this window to send the screenshot directly to ChatGPT. So I'm just gonna click send right here. And as you can see, we get pretty clear instructions here to go to integration. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to scroll down and here I have my API settings. Now, let's say I'm editing the thumbnail and I want to improve it and get suggestions on it. So I'm just going to double tap the command key and I'm going to type in, how can I improve this thumbnail and send it? We get this window again, so I'm just going to click send and it's working with ChatGPT. And as you can see, we get pretty clear suggestions right here. And finally, let's say I'm editing a job post on Upwork. I just created like this little draft right here. And of course I want to improve it. So I'm just gonna double tap the command key and ask Siri to do that for me. So I'm just gonna type in improve this job description and let's see what it does. We're gonna send the screenshot to ChatGPT. And all that's left for me to do is actually to copy all this 
And as you can see, I didn't even need to open the ChatGPT app, which is super useful. Now, somehow I failed to record this clip, but this feature is also amazing at analyzing large documents. For example, I have this 30 page document right here and I'm gonna ask Siri to help me with it. First, let's ask it to summarize it and let's see what it does. Here we get two options, either to send this screenshot or the full document content, which is what I'm gonna choose and click send. And here we get a full summary of our file in just a few seconds. Now let's be a little bit more specific and ask it a question. For example, I'm gonna ask, what's the role of AI in investment according to this file? I'm gonna choose full content again. And just like magic, here is our answer. This feature works pretty much with any types of documents, PDFs, spreadsheets, and even slides. And it's definitely super, super useful, but I have so much more to show you. So let's get going. In December, the ChatGPT Mac app got some major updates. It is now much faster and has access to the internet with search. We can now also access it from the menu bar or by using the option space command to pull it up without having to change tabs. But the craziest update is that the ChatGPT Mac app now integrates with several writing tools like Notion. Now all of this sounded like a lot, so let me show you exactly what I mean. Well firstly the ChatGPT Mac app is now so easy to access. Let's say I'm working on something here and need assistance from ChatGPT. All I have to do is to click option space and the ChatGPT extension appears right here. Now all that's left for me to do is to send it a question, so I'm just going to ask how does Zoom and Calendly integration work for example. And I'm doing this in real time. Look how fast it actually pulled up the answer. And I didn't need to go to the ChatGPT app or switch my screens. This feature is absolutely amazing for step-by-step -step tasks because you can kind of keep it there as your instructions and just follow along. Let's say I'm building an automation in make.com and I need step-by-step -step instructions from ChatGPT. All I have to do now is to do the option space command and I'm gonna type in my prompt. I'm just gonna say that I'm building an automation in make.com, connecting my 11 Labs AI agent with Calendly, and I'm just gonna send it. And in a matter of seconds, I get my step-by-step -step instructions, but the best part is that I now can keep these instructions as I follow along the steps. For example, in step one, it says here that I need to log into make.com, which I'm already logged in. Then it says that I need to create a new scenario. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Next, we need to add our webhook. So I'm just gonna click plus here, webhook, custom webhook, just as it says. And the best part is that I can now switch between tabs or screens and these instructions will stay with me. For example, step two is to configure my 11 Labs AI agent. So I'm just gonna follow along to 11 Labs. And as you can see, it stays right here. By the way, ChatGPT is now so good with these instructions, I really recommend using it. The updated ChatGPT Mac app now also integrates with several writing tools like Notion, Text Edit, Terminal, and Visual Studio Code, making it perfect for things like writing or coding. This feature works kind of like screen sharing. ChatGPT can see exactly what you're doing and help you fix mistakes, summarize, or provide you with writing assistance. Let me show you how it works in detail. Now, let's say I've written down a list of my client's requirements here in Notion. It's an absolute disorganized mess. So all I have to do to organize it is to use our option space command that we did before. And I'm just gonna click this integration icon right here and you will see Notion. All we have to do is to click plus next to it. And as you can see, it's now working with Notion. I'm just gonna type in my prompt right here to organize my client's requirements. And as you can see, it looked at Notion and organized our notes. We've got automation here, design and user interface, integrations, and so on. Now, imagine I'm building an app and I'm a horrible developer. Actually, we don't need to imagine it because I built this app just two days ago and got this error message. So all I have to do to fix this error message now is to go to option space as before to open our ChatGPT app. And I'm gonna click this integration icon right here and now choose terminal. I'm just gonna type in What's causing the error message? And <laughs> let's see what it does. And as you can see, it looked at terminal. It told us what happened and how to fix it, which is amazing for people like me. Here is the full list of apps that ChatGPT Mac app integrates with. We've got a couple of writing tools like Notes, Notion, Text Edit, and quite a few coding tools. I've also left this list in the description of this video if you need it. 
Now let's talk about the last feature, visual intelligence for iPhone. This feature lets you access ChatGPT straight from your camera. All you have to do is point it at something, ask a question about it, or tell it to look something up instantly. Unfortunately, it's only available on iPhone 16, so I can't demo it for you, but I'll use the OpenAI's example to show you how it works. So to make this work, you need to have the ChatGPT app downloaded on your phone and open your camera app. Now, all you need to do is to long press the camera control button and we can already see the ask and search buttons from ChatGPT pop up. Then just point your camera at whatever you need help with, tap any of the buttons and ask ChatGPT something directly from here. And that's it. ChatGPT sees what you're showing and provides assistance directly in the camera app. This could be incredibly useful if something is broken, identifying objects, or searching for something specific without having to take a photo and send it to ChatGPT. Now, if you have iPhone 16, please try it out and let us know in the comments how it went. I'm super excited to see how it actually works in real life. It's hard to believe it's only been six months and we already got so many incredible updates. I'm honestly so excited to see where this Apple and ChatGPT collaboration takes us next. I will now officially be posting twice a week on Sundays and Thursdays, so make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.